Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. Friday night is a very busy betting night in the NBA, as it always is, and uh, I have found a couple of value plays tonight, but one game that does not have a spread just yet is the Atlanta Hawks heading into Oakland to play the Golden State Warriors tonight. And uh, because of a couple of injuries to two of the team's best players, this line will probably not come out for a while until we get some confirmation on both of their statuses. One of them is, uh, one of them, excuse me, is Stephen Curry, who, uh, had to leave their game against the Boston Celtics. Said he could have returned though if it was a, not a blowout game in favor of the uh, Golden State Warriors. So Steph Curry's uh, status likely a little bit more uh, probable than doubtful tonight as opposed to the questionable status of uh, a, a guy on the other team, the Hawks guy, uh, Paul Millsap, who has missed the last several games for the Atlanta Hawks with a knee contusion. However, the game he suffered it in or allegedly suffered this injury in, he came back and finished the game and now has missed, I believe, the last five for Atlanta. This is a telltale sign of tanking in the NBA. This is what you see with teams that are on the fringe of the playoffs, the Hawks currently being in the eighth seed, looking like a team that would much rather be in the lottery than the eighth seed in the playoffs just to get blown out by Indiana or Miami in the first round. And they are sitting their best player in order to try to lose games. Paul Millsap is the one thing that can keep the Atlanta Hawks into the playoffs in a horrific Eastern Conference. And with him sitting on the bench because of a knee contusion, it's likely that the Hawks are not going to be a great value here. So if Millsap does in fact sit and assuming that Curry is okay, you have to think the Golden State Warriors are going to be absolutely huge favorites in this game. Probably, if not double digits, very, very close to double digit favorites here at home. However, Millsap has been practicing some. He played some three on three and he could be healthy enough, healthy enough to play. But as I said, the Hawks are likely holding him back, not wanting to really either risk him long term, which is a guy they have locked up very long term. They've already had one injury to a very key big man this year now, Horford. So could be that, but it could also be them holding him back because they really need to lose some games right now and get out of the playoff picture. But if Millsap does end up playing and making his return tonight for the Atlanta Hawks, likely going to bump them down to maybe in between a six and a half and eight and a half point underdog in this game on the road. Millsap is a very good big man. He would give David Lee and uh, Andrew Bogut some problems, even though he's a little undersized and basically alone in that Atlanta front court. But with him and Jeff Teague, this Atlanta team should not be undervalued too much. So if he does end up playing, probably looking at uh, the Hawks being about a seven and a half point underdog here. But if Millsap does sit, you're looking at about 10 points or more, I'd say. So that'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out some of these other games that actually do have some odds for them that I have picks on as well as the Nets and the Celtics, uh, along with the Blazers and the Mavericks. But when this line does come out, we'll give you an update with the article. So make sure you check SBR for them as always in the article section and the NBA free picks page, give you a look at uh, what I will have the official pick on this game once the line comes out. But that'll do it for me this time. I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of The Sharp Pick.